Morning guys. I gotta run over to the clubhouse on the property here at our apartment complex to let Katie into the laundry room slash gym facility. She's supposed to get a key. She hasn't gotten it yet. She just moved in like a couple weeks ago. So I gotta jet over there real quick to let her in. Shades. Hopefully my camera stays up there. I hope. Poor girl. What's up? I'm just gonna do some laundry. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why they haven't given you your key yet. Thanks for letting me vlog. Oh, you're fine. <laughs> I'm gonna get camera shy around you, Kyle. <laughs> Hi there, I'm Kyle, and I'm a 20-something living in Northern Kentucky, just south of Cincinnati, Ohio. I like to do lots of fun things. Some of them are a little crazier than others, but I also enjoy building cool stuff in my spare time, and I love traveling to and exploring all sorts of neat and interesting places. So this is my life. Welcome to my channel, and thank you for being here. Well, that was easy enough. Katie's heading out. Bye, Katie. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna head back to the apartment and I'm gonna film some stuff today for you guys. Bye. So I've... <laughs> Bye, Katie. <laughs> She's such a goof. Okay. So I'm gonna head back to the apartment today. Um, I've got a couple of things I've gotta do. Let me move this closer a little bit. Ben Zen has made me also his um, US modder of sorts for um, just general stuff. Like, instead of having people ship stuff back to Australia and pay like $20 in shipping, they can just send stuff to me and I can modify things with his direction. Uh, so that's gonna help him, it's gonna help me, so I can keep showing you guys cool stuff and I can help him out with costs of shipping and stuff like that. I've actually got a case right now. Someone sent their El Cheapo uh, SD game pack that they bought on his site over to me because it was sent out with a faulty memory module on it. Um, these modules were, they ended up being bad. There's only a couple of these things in the wild. Uh, ben caught it soon enough and realized there was a bug. The bug actually causes the uh, battery for the saves in the cart to drain even when the cart's off. Ben fortunately designed these carts a certain way so that you can modify the hardware so that it will stop doing that. It requires lifting a pin, soldering a trace between two points, and that's pretty much it. So that's just a small example of what Ben is gonna have me do to help him. Um, I'm really stoked to do it, I'm really honored. It means my soldering skills aren't crap. It's kind of a compliment to me. He likes my work, I can't argue with that. So let's go back and do that. Safety first. Wait for this guy, or no, we're not. Whee. Still kicking myself for this. Oh, great. I broke that too. Awesome. Oh well, lesson learned. All right, guys. So first, I'm gonna pull out from my iFixit kit the Y-wing bit. I'm gonna take the El Cheapo SD. We're gonna get this thing apart. So I gotta undo this, the Y-wing screw on the back here. Now keep in mind, you don't have to do this El Cheapo cart mod uh, to yours. This is only for a very select few. Our first plan of action is to get pin number three over here. It's gonna be this pin right there. We're gonna lift that pin up. 
Get our flux, melt that. Just a little bit this time is all we need. Get our little bit of flux. Put that right along here. And now, let's do the dirty part, which is lifting pin number three. This is going to be a little tricky. It always is tricky lifting pins. So let me get my tweezers in there, get a good grip on it. Melt the pin, try to bend it up here. Now I've got to do something difficult. Let's see if I can get some solder on there. <clears throat> Two hours later. Alright guys, that went a lot differently than I thought it would. Basically, I had to glue this wire down. The reason I had to do that is because when I went to pull that up, it broke off immediately. So thankfully there was enough of a nub there on this part that I was still able to solder to it. So I very carefully soldered this wire. Uh, it took forever to get it on there. Finally got it to connect and ran this trace all the way up to where that diode used to be, and then ran this trace right here between the uh, where the diode was connected and this capacitor right here. This is the completed fix for this module right here. So now hopefully this will no longer drain the battery. I've got to get another battery in this. I've got some coming in the mail in two days from Amazon Prime. So uh, this is done. This was really quite a pain. That pin on the wafer on that chip was not supposed to break off like that. Ben also acknowledged when I messaged him what happened that those pins are very brittle. He was going to send this person a brand new cart. I decided, you know, I'm going to give it a try and try to solder to it. And so thankfully I was able to. I also ran a special Game Boy ROM that Ben wrote uh, on this cart. So it tests the SRAM module and the flash module on this cart to make sure that they work. Without this mod in place and with pin 3 missing from the board, it should fail. And in my testing it did. And with it completed like this, it should pass both tests. And it did thankfully pass both tests. So this board is ready to return to the wild once I get a new battery for it. And that will be in a couple days once I get them in. So yeah, all I gotta do is pop the front of it back on, which I'll show you guys here. I'm gonna angle the camera down. And let's zoom in. Okay, cool. So pop this on. That's on. And let's take our screw, our screwdriver. Put that back in. All right, guys. That cart is ready to return to the wild now. All right, I think I'm gonna end the vlog right here. Uh, it's a little late, it's like one o'clock in the morning right now. Oh yeah, it's like after one. Um, thank you guys again so much for watching, I really appreciate it. Please leave a like below, and also please consider subscribing to my channel if you like my content and you wanna see more. I do stuff like this all the time, and it's just a lot of fun. Thank you guys again so much for being here, and as always, stay awesome, and I'll see you in the next video.